What's up guys? Uh, welcome to the first and hopefully only uh, quarantined worship session. Uh, I know a lot of stores and churches have closed down because of this virus. So hopefully this is something that you can watch in lieu of there not being church. I know some churches will be doing Sunday night or Sunday morning uh, video recordings, but I know a lot of students won't be able to make it to those or won't really don't go to Sunday morning. So this is just something for students or if you're a parent and want to have something during the week or just a, somebody who wants something to do during the week and uh, you just want to praise God. I mean, this is honestly one of the best times we could go to him. Well, I'm like, a, we, need, we need to go to him all the time, but right now a lot of people are looking to him and I feel if your family members who are sick, you know, if we lift them up, we might well not my god will work miracles and so um, i'm just gonna play a little few songs and then share what the bible says about um, sickness and all these things going on in the world so First of all, first off, uh, it's just 
I don't know. I, especially, like I said, in times like these, we need to show God that we will worship Him, that we will love Him like He loves us. And like our love will never compare to His love for us. I mean, His own Son died for us, and it's, it's incomprehensible. Yesterday I saw it, I still believe, and that's the reason why I'm doing this, is because uh, the whole, I don't want to spoil it, but... Uh, if you've been to a Jeremy Camp concert, then you know what I mean when I say that he shares his the passing of his wife's story to motivate others. And so my whole, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to use not my story, but his story to motiv motivate y'all. Uh, and not Jeremy Camp, I'm talking about Jesus. Uh, there's, he there's a story in the Bible that says that this lady, and I don't know where scripture it is, but uh, this lady who was sick, she had uh, she had a sickness in her that she, she had enough faith to just reach out and touch Jesus. And she had faith that if she just touched him, that she would be healed. And so she touches him and she ends up being healed. And not only that, Jesus notices that she touches her. So the moral of that story is if we have no faith to go out and seek Jesus, to go and touch him, to go find his love or, and just do whatever we need to do to get closer to him, that he will heal us. And that's just an amazing story. And uh, I don't know, it, it's still amazing because... Uh, just small things that I guess we take for granted. I mean, you hear about the toilet paper and the water going out of stock and, you know, who would have thought that uh, like Walmart would be low on stock? Like Walmart's, it's Wally World. I mean, they never run out of anything, but I don't know. Uh, if you would like me to pray over anybody, uh, specifically if they're, uh, if you're dealing with something or if you know somebody's dealing with something, uh, you know, you can leave it down in the comments below. Uh, if you don't want to leave a name, just say, pray for me. Feel free to say, just pray for me. And I'll do my best I can. Because uh, prayer goes a long way. Uh, miracles do happen. And, I mean, just a small faith. It says in Bible too, you know, faith as small as a mustard seed, which is like, really small, you know, uh, can move mountains. So go ahead and move on to the next song. Uh, Just 
the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one who can ever save. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe, we live for you. Before I go on to the next and last song, I just want to, uh, if you watch this, go ahead and say thank you for, uh, you know, putting, uh, taking time out of your day to watch this. And uh, if you'd like to see more, uh, like and just tell me, uh, post more or something. Uh, like I said, I'm new to this. This is uh, just something for people who need something during the week uh, to kind of lift them up. And I know there's other bands like Passions out there. They just did one. Uh, Elevation Worship did one. So uh, feel free to look at like whoever you want. There's a lot of good, amazing, I mean, <laughs> better than me, uh, singers and artists. Uh, but this is just something that I want to do. If, uh, like I said, if you need a prayer, uh, uh, if you have a prayer question, I'll leave it down in the comments. If you just need me to pray for something, just say, Pray for me or pray for this. Uh, I'd love to. Uh, I'd love to see God work His miracles in this world. Uh, and uh, before, I, like I said, go to the next last song. Uh, there's another story in the Bible uh, of uh, there's this man who was paralyzed, uh, and Jesus was talking to uh, the crowd in one of the homes and. Uh, the paralyzed man uh, 
he had people go uh, onto the roof and they dropped him in front of Jesus and, well not dropped him, but they lowered him down to Jesus and uh, Jesus already, like Jesus and God know everything, but sometimes they ask, you know, what's wrong? Or they want us to tell them what's wrong so that we know what's wrong because if we don't know what's wrong, then why should, then we, sh we should tell them we need to know what's wrong so we can work. Uh, like it says in James, faith without work is dead. And so uh, this guy, uh, he's paralyzed and he tells him, I, I need you to help me. And I'm not, I'm not sure if that's actually like the whole story, how the whole story goes, but pretty much Jesus grabs him and in front of the Pharisees, which were people who were trying to kill him, he goes, is it better to say, uh, Man should something that man should walk, or is it better to show him or tell him and show him man walk? And he picks him up and lifts him up, and the guy starts walking. He's no longer paralyzed. And so again, it's just showing that you need to have faith in Jesus. You need to have faith in God. You need to have faith. All this goes back to faith. If uh, that that they'll take care of it. Uh, I know right now. Like I said, we're in the pretty rough spot. Uh, a lot of seniors, I'm a senior this year. Uh, a lot of my classmates, including me, I mean, I'm kind of worried uh, over like how graduation, what, you know, what's going on in school, you know, like a lot of trying to get out of school as soon as possible. Uh, but, you know, truth and honestly, I got to have faith and know that God has a plan. And so I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, I'm going to pray for all the seniors in my class. Uh, if you're a senior and you're watching this from another school, I'll be praying for you too. I know a lot of people from Lufkin and Kilgore and Pine Tree and Tyler. And so uh, just know I'll be praying for y'all. Uh, and let's go on to the next song. Before I go on, uh, let's see. what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, uh, if I'm gonna leave all the names of the songs to that I play um, down below, so if you want to listen to them, uh, feel free to. I'm gonna put the live versions. I I like the live versions better, but if you like the recordings, then you can look them up. And also, if you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. I'm not asking you to subscribe, but. I don't post on here a lot. This is, like I said, this is something for, uh, since we don't have church tonight, uh, Wednesday nights until further notice, then uh, this is just something that I wanted to do uh, that I felt like God wanted me to do for uh, my peers and people that, that go to Calvary with me. So, and if you need a church to go to, uh, hopefully this virus thing, whatever goes away soon, uh, feel free to go to Calvary. Um, we'd love to have you. Uh, if not, look for a friend. I know other churches would love to have you around Henderson. Uh, but, yeah, I'm trying to remember the song now. Just forgot it. Yeah. 
Again, thank you for watching. If you made it all the way through this, uh, this is all uh, for real. I'm gonna go through the video to see if y'all can hear me. If y'all can't, I'm sorry. This is gonna be. Uh, I don't want to put any like fake stuff in here. Uh, you'll hear my mistakes. I I made a lot of mistakes in the lyrics, but uh, like I said earlier, just have faith. Uh, 
this is honestly uh, an amazing time to be alive to, you know, especially if you're a child of God. Uh, we need to have faith, show people what faith is like. Uh, I know there's a lot of food banks that need help, so uh, volunteers like to serve to the people. So uh, if you have a local food bank, uh, sign up. Uh, it's really fun, honestly, uh, working in one of those. Uh, if not, I mean, see what you can do around your community. Uh, if you can do yards for somebody, uh, or if you, simple like uh, a washer car, something that show is that uh, you're working and but make sure that that work is for God because uh, faith without works is dead but work without faith is also dead so uh, thank you for watching if you would like to see more uh, you have my snapchat and just snatch up me say do one do another one or uh, if you just comment down below another one uh, and share this video I want others to see uh, I want others to see this if they need, like, if, I want others to see, uh, how can I put this, uh, what faith can do, uh, and if you haven't seen us to believe, uh, you know, watch that, it's an amazing movie, I want to go watch it last night, and, uh, I, I heard a people crying, I don't cry really, I kind of teared up, but, uh, it's just, Go out, show love, show God's love to people. If you want to go grow closer to God, uh, you can always, you know, go to a local pastor. Uh, if you see this video, you know me. You know, you can always approach me. Uh, but I want to leave y'all with one last question. Uh, just because we are in a time where like a virus is spreading or whatever. Uh, but if you really have questions about the gospel and stuff, and you don't know if you're saved or not. Uh, the one question I want to ask yourself or uh, I'm going to ask you is if you were to die today, where would you go? And so uh, I believe truly uh, and I have a ton of faith that the, in the last seconds of your life, if you commit your life to God, that you will go to heaven. But I don't want you, any of y'all to wait that long. So uh, always feel free to message me or message any of your friends who are Christians and uh we, I think I can speak for the whole Christian community when I say that we'd love to speak uh, to you about the gospel. Again, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully there's not another of these quarantined uh, worship sessions, but hopefully next time it's like a little bonfire or something. So again, thank you.